first of all, I would say a few words uh, about when we use advanced analytics. Uh, when we want to analyze some data set, we can go through three levels of analytics with different level of business impact. At first level, um, we just watching what happened and can understand if our decisions in the past were right. Basically, we can do this using simplest tools, even Excel. And uh, the next level, uh, we want more information at the moment to answer the questions like what might happen and what is happening. Here we need more complicated tools, business intelligence tools. And finally, when we have answers to all these questions, next level is explore what can be done to make it happen. On this level, on the very first steps, we can work with business intelligence functionality, but the more difficult questions you're asking, the more complex calculation models you need. So we need to take a look for the programming languages R or Python. Tableau works fine with both of these, but today we would, we would talk about Tableau plus Python. Let's enjoy to, uh, some cases together. We prepared a few cases to show you. First case, now we need to compare reviews from TripAdvisor with ratings. For an example, here is screenshot for review with many compliments to the hotel, such as short walk from metro and tram stops, staff are very helpful, room was modern and comfortable, and others. But this guest gave only three stars to the hotel with this review. Why did he why he did this? We don't know. But we have another question. How many reviews are better than scores? Are there a lot of reviews with low scores? If it does, should TripAdvisor and other rating sites revise their rating calculation method? To answer this question, we need to compare reviews with ratings. To do that, we need to analyze text of reviews. So, uh, we use Tableau and Python together in this case. Using Tableau, we can detail data analysis to each review, match several visualizations for more complex analysis. And Python help us to sentimental analyze text. Let's take a look at the solution overview. First, we import data with reviews and ratings to Tableau. At the Tableau, we create an a calculation field with Python script. When we use this calculation field on a worksheet in Tableau, a Tableau connects to Python server to execution script. At script, you can use any libraries that installed on your Python server or models. In this case, we use sentiment in intensity analyzer from nltk.org. The sentimental score calculator looks for the keywords and punctuations and gets weight summary of each review. The higher the score gets, the more positive review is. Tableau using this score at visualization. Let's go to the Tableau and see what we have as a result. Here we have box and whiskers visualization, which shows distribution sentimental scores through ratings and its uh, inspiration. If we hover over on the whisk, we can see the tooltip and read review. Let me show you more closely. So we can read each review for each point. And if we want um, view 
detailed information about several dots, we can select them by drag mouse across these dots and then by clicking right mouse button um, choose view data and uh, here we have um, detailed information about ratings reviews and sentimental scores so here we can find our example review about hotel with short walk from the tram and metro station we see that the lava rating means the widest spread of the review score you can tell me that the count of reviews making an impact on the spread size but the second width shows us that the situation is vice versa maximum count of reviews uh, is going to five stars so people really write different <laughs> words in different ways for first uh, for one stars score to see calculation, we need go to worksheet. So I'm exiting from full screen and go into worksheet. Here we have all fields in this worksheet, in this workbook, not many. And uh, I open um, calculation editor and uh, we can see it i will make it bigger to show you so this gray text in quotes is a python script which execution by python server and um, uh, we we told uh, tableau execution that we need to execute a python script by um, function script real uh, there are different function of tableau um, to execute python uh, it depends on which type of data you um, expecting from python here we expect a number so script real And um, if we summarize, <laughs> um, on Tableau, um, for Tableau, uh, this field is just another column of numbers which we can use in our um, visualizations. Let's jump uh, in our another case. As the second case, the goal is to find optimal points for emergency services based on information about calls with coordinates. The right places for emergency service um, point can reduce the arrival time to the scene of accident. So why in this case we use Python and Tableau together? First of all, fast results. Developing all decision took only one day. Users can redesign by themselves final dashboard. And Tableau and Python geocoding capabilities give us pretty and functional image. Like in previous case, here we start from importing that data to Tableau and creating calculation field with Python script. In this case, with Python um, help, we enrich initial data set by flag does uh, this uh, point is hotspot or not. Dashboard can be embedded in any site through iframe 
Let's go to site and see the result. Sorry. So <clears throat> here we are. Um, with the blue color, with the blue color, we have the accident scene. On the map, it, it's very convenient to see uh, the density spread in those scenes by the city. And now we can turn on the hotspots based on accident density. It's taken some time uh, to calculate it in a life. Uh, so uh, I'll say uh, I'll say you a, a few words about uh, calculation uh, which we use in this case. At the Python server, we use a uh, density based uh, special clustering of applications with noise, which finds core samples of high density and expands clusters from them. This is good for data which contains clusters or similar density like we have. So, um, because we have a lot of uh, rows, mm, quite a lot, uh, and um, our Python server not have many uh, it uh, took um, a lot of uh, time, and now here we go, uh, we have the overview picture of the city and uh, on this dashboard. We have different users with different areas of responsibility. Ambulance, firefighters and traffic issues. Which means they need have the ability to filter data. By clicking on the one of these shapes, we can filter data on our visualization. And uh, we have uh, some result uh, for firefighters in the city and uh, some hotspots. Also, we can uh, take a look on the script which we use in this case for this i go to tableau desktop and uh, open calculation editor in tableau desktop so we uh, calculating a uh, flag uh, is hot spot this dot or not and uh, like in previous case, uh, gray color text uh, in quotes is script for Python. And here we can see that uh, we use a uh, function script string uh, because uh, um, Python return for us uh, two uh, variables. Um, one variable but two variants uh, no oh yes so string and now we return to our presentation and uh, let's sum up today's use cases Why should I use both Python and Tableau together? Python is a powerful tool for statistics and machine learning and also predictive modeling. And otherwise, Tableau makes simple data connectivity, interface storytelling, and one of the benefits using Tableau is integration with Active Directory and embedded with an iframe. So another benefits we have uh, so you get good looking and functional results in short period of time 
Thank you very much for your attention.